<clears throat> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a yeah, St. Patrick's Day video, and everything's falling already. Okay, so I'm here with a St. Patrick's Day video of eyeshadow palettes that you may already have, um, just in case you want to, ah, excuse me, go ahead and do a really fun, um, yeah, St. Patrick's Day look. So to go ahead and get started, I'll go ahead and go through what I have on really quick. I did start with the Glow Oil by Supergoop, and that's SPF 50. And then I did go ahead and use um, <clears throat> the True Match by L'Oreal. And um, let's see. This one is in C1. It's my winter shade because I'm really light right now. And then I did also use the L'Oreal True Match um, <clears throat> Concealer. This actually just came out, and I got mine in W1. And so that's what I've been using there. I did actually get another Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde, and I have that on. And the Maybelline uh, Surreal the Falsies mascara and I did have pink eyes so I had to go ahead and replace my liquid products uh, with the powder ones and the cream ones I was able to go ahead and spray them with um, rubbing alcohol you need to get a high level like 90 90 or above and um, you can spray it on powder products and cream products but with the liquid products it doesn't work as well so um, just went ahead and did that. Um, I did go ahead and use the Curve Case and this is by Made by Mitchell and so uh, this one is the light one. You can get this on Beauty Bay and Beauty Bay um, is a website. They do their own line and they carry other lines as well. I use this for my bronzer and then I mix these two up here for my blush and that's what I have on there. And then um, Let's see, I have the Trefoils highlighter on. This is the one by um, Hard Candy. They did a collab with the Girl Scouts of America. And so this is the highlighter that I have on today. I did go ahead and use, um, let's see, where did it go? Ah, it seems to have walked away. I got one of the lip oils. Oh, yeah, the fat oils from NYX. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as the actual palette that I have on, one of the reasons, <clears throat> excuse me, that I'm going ahead and doing this video is that I found this palette and it has such pretty greens in it. It's the uh, DD Signature Jingle Bell Ruby palette. Just absolutely gorgeous. I have it on today. And so I just thought that I would go ahead and do a St. Patrick's Day video. So I had this one in the crease, this one on the outer corner, this one on the outer corner, this one on the inner corner. Then I have uh, this one over here right on the middle of the lid. And I went ahead and used this under the eye as an eyeliner. Here's the way that the look came out. So that's the way that that worked out. Uh, I would highly recommend Gorgeous Formulas. I know they just put out another palette for spring. And then to go ahead and get started with uh, palettes that you might have that you might want to use for St. Patrick's Day. The Fresh Greens palette, this one is by... Um, ColourPop. This is one of their Target launches. So if you have a Target that carries a lot of beauty or has the Alta in Target in it, you will probably have this in your Target. And ColourPop is actually in the drugstore area of Target. So um, yeah, but they came out with a whole bunch of palettes that are on their website, but pretty much exclusive to Target. So um, another one you might have is Sage the Day by ColourPop. Or Sage the Day by ColourPop. It's over at Alta and um, on the uh, ColourPop website. Really pretty. If you want to go really dark and do a really dark green look, this one would work. Uh, Sakura by Alter Ego. 
it tends to lean a little bit more toward the minty greens, but down here you got some of those really deep dark greens. And there's one shade in here that's actually more of a, they call it a cream, I call it more of a putty formula, but this one would go ahead and work too. Another color pop, this is really um, popular palette. It's called The Child, and it's part of the Star Wars collab and has a whole bunch of grassy greens and greens based on gray and a couple of uh, silvers and pewters so it's really pretty really pretty palette <clears throat> coastal lights by flower beauty and this one actually doesn't have a lot of green but it has some green and gray so if you want to come up with a really pretty green and gray look this one would probably work and this one is by Odin's Eye. It's Flora Story Palette. Amanda from Makeup Just for Fun went ahead and collabed with Odin's Eye on this palette. Really pretty. Um, kind of more of a unique color story. I wouldn't have really thought of putting uh, purples and greens together, but it works. And she has a couple of rosy colors in here as well, so really pretty definitely would work for um, <clears throat> St. Patrick's Day. And then Glam Light, the Scooby-Doo. This is the Rut Row Ruggy palette. And this one has a whole bunch of pretty greens in there. And uh, you could do a pretty green and blue look with this one. Uh, Earthy by Beauty Bay. And when Beauty Bay does palette, they do a 9-pan palette, a 16 palette, and a 42-pan palette. And this is their Earthy 9-pan palette. So that's this one right here. And then um, this is another one of the ColourPop uh, Target palettes. This is Super Bloom. It's actually seen better days. Um, but this one are, is made up of greens based on gray. So it's going to give you more of a blue-green look. But again, really pretty. And then the last one I have is the Big Earthy Palette by Beauty Bay. And so this is the 42 pen palette. And this is how it looks. Again, with Beauty Bay, they don't, they're based in the UK. And so you have to order off their website. It does take about two to three weeks to get to you because it is shipping from Europe over to the US. And I think that's just about the end of the video. Um, anyway, I hope that you have a great St. Patrick's Day. And um, I think that's about it. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.